Hey plumbers, if you don't know, we do everyday plumbing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today, a little simple task, we have a lavatory sink that's clogged. I'm going to show you young gunners how to plunge it without creating a super mess and to get the maximum pressure for your plunger. Simple task, but some people overlook this and wonder why it makes such a mess. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and follow this journey as I train my two sons of plumbing trade. It's going to be a long journey, but well worth it because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. We'll see you inside. As you see, the sink's not going down. going down super super slow so right here we have an overflow in case you fill the sink up too high it goes down here and drains back into the drain so what you need to do is here's how you plunge it without that watch this you get all air coming out of here and sometimes water so to get maximum strength on this you gotta hold the hole. And you get a good plunge. And there it goes. Look at all this gook hair. Okay. Now what I like to do is take out the pop-up. Now you see it going down much better now, correct? I like to do is personally I'm such a pro and all you polymers out there who are pros know you, you reach on there you grab a mowing 46 21 which this is an old boy look at all that hair folks hair toothpaste you name it wow For your drain line that's really clogged, this is a clogged, but we'll find out in one second. If you have a clogged drain, not just at the sink level, in the drain line, it's going down perfect. So let's say your drain line is clogged and it still holds water with the pop-up out. This is when you gain maximum plunging power when you cover the overflow hole, okay? Sinks full of water. I'll show you in one second. We'll let it fill up. And using the water behind the plunger is the ultimate game changer in the plunging game. All you pros know that, right? So let me shut this water off. Let that go like that, you're draining down, all of a sudden you go boom, boom. Oh. And we all, all, our, all us plumbers do know that this is a really short line that either goes right into the wall or into the vent that goes upstairs and ties into the toilet line right here, three inch. So it's a relatively short run, three to five feet. So you can get it every time. As you see, it's nothing but hair and grime. All that good stuff. See? Trash can. Rinse it off. We're good to go. Alright. Now to put it back together here. The post is back in there so it doesn't leak. So. Pull it out. Put the post back in. Check it. Try and pull it up. and just pull up because I'm in the hole. There we go, boys and girls. Alright. 
make sure it doesn't leak underneath. And for all you pros out there want this plunger, check it out. We ain't trying to make money, we're trying to pass on the info so you can make your job easier. Let's get it done, folks. Four inch ball high neck plunger. There you have it, folks. Quick plunge, no problem. Every time, uh, it's a winner. So, hey, folks, a couple reminders. Disconnect your hoses from your anti frost bibs, they will not work if your hose is connected. The water has to be able to drain from the inside of the house out to the bib and out of the bib, of course. Secondly, drain your outside showers. If you haven't done it, do it now. Uh, winter's here and uh, it ain't going nowhere now. Also, single handle showers. Gotta pop the cartridge out. Always holds water. Replace a lot of cartridges every season. Pull it out and winterize it correctly. Thirdly, we're gonna go four today. Thirdly, close all your air vents, okay? The wind's a killer on pipes, plumbing, crawl spaces, your heat bill. If you close them, it limits the wind going through your house, okay? Freezing your pipes, etc. And of course, the crawl space door. Seal it up, close it up so it doesn't blow down in the winter. And with that, that'll keep your pipes from freezing and keep you from calling the plumber. All right, folks? With that, what do we got? It's been a while. What do we got, folks? Today is a short day, but what do we have? And there goes another satisfied customer. Have a great weekend. See you at the next one, folks. Bye-bye.